I mean, I really am Will Smith. I'm not telling you that, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, congratulations. Uh, you know, we were so excited when this film was at Tribeca, and here we are now. Uh, this film is available for all to see. Hi, that car broke down on the road. Cindy, this is, uh... I'm Glenn. Glenn. Hi, Glenn. How does it feel now for you? It's, it's very exciting. It's been, um, I guess, kind of a surreal ride for everybody. Uh, we finished shooting in March of 2020 like days before the shutdown in LA. Yeah, it's been it's been a little weird. Right, I wasn't staring at your wife. What is going on? I can't explain it to me at this stage in the process. What about for you, um, you know, looking at the, the graphic novel that this was kind of obviously based on, inspired by, and then translating that onto, you know, onto the screen. Walk me through some of that, some of the, the key things in that process for you. I think pretty early on, there was a point when I had to put down the graphic novel, just because in my head there, you know, there was that whole complex story and then there's the screenplay and that complex story. And it, it was very easy to get them mixed up. So I just had to put the graphic novel aside and just focus on one piece of work. I'm getting the craziest deja vu from this place. What else are you hiding from me? We are doing true good here, Shannon. Don't lose sight of that. I think obviously one of the things, uh, the characters in this movie, not knowing what's real, what's not real, and, and the reality kind of shifts. Has your position on hypnosis kind of uh, changed after doing this movie? You know, I didn't, I don't know if I really had a strong opinion going in. Connor can speak on it better than I can because one of the inspirations for him in high school, a bunch of his friends were hypnotized. He saw his best friends behave in a very strange and unusual way, and that kind of yes. got him going. I had one of those stage, uh, you know, hypnotists on on my show. Uh, he made people think I was Will Smith. Oh my god! And I, I kid you not, the people that were hypnotized, and not everyone gets hypnotized, you know, the yeah. same way. Thought I was Will Smith. It was like crazy. That is crazy. <laughs> I, it, I mean, I really am Will Smith. I'm not telling you that, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> it's not safe for us there anymore. We have to bring them out of the suggestion in stages. Stay away from me! <laughs> it's so fascinating because it offers so many, so many layers. I know sometimes as a director, you know, everything's kind of, it's up to you to make the story make sense and, and work with the actors and work with the visuals. How did you feel? Was it daunting for you initially when you're like, okay, here's the page. I uh, got to make this a visual medium. Uh, how did you feel at the start of this project? I mean, I tried to rely on the experience of reading the graphic novel and, um, you know, that sense of confusion and uncertainty and it was a little haunting. And um, I just tried to manifest those experiences or those emotions and use that as a guide to telling the story. Oh, it just keeps on going. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on social media at Melissa DeMarco for more exclusive content with your favorite celebs. I'll see you guys out there. <laughs>